Today, we're gonna to explore a key element in music, complementary rhythms. These are secondary rhythms when played alongside the main rhythm, enhance the overall sound and feel of a song. It adds a layer of interest and depth to your playing. Hi, I'm Brian Fish from musictheoryforguitar.com. Like many guitar players, when I first picked up the guitar, I was eager to learn and spent countless hours mastering other guitarist parts. It was a lot of fun when I finally had the opportunity to play with others, I realized that it wasn't as beneficial as I had hoped. Whether my friends and I were playing cover songs, writing our own material, or just jamming, it always seemed like everyone ended up playing the same thing. Now sometimes that sounds awesome, it's exactly what the song needs. But too often we found that the end result was bland and boring. What was missing was complementary rhythms. Parts that interact and complement one another. This adds so much to a song and makes playing a lot more fun because the more you do it, the more you're able to improvise and create cool parts in real time. You can actually have a musical conversation. So for this, let's start with a simple backing track and then we'll begin creating complementary rhythm parts using other rhythms found in the track. And if you don't like the style of music I use, that's okay. You can take this concept and use it for the style of music you like. So here is the bass track. For this first complementary rhythm, we're going to go ahead and look at the time signature to get our idea. Now this is in 4-4, so all we're going to do is we're going to play a whole note of the chord that's being played for each measure. Now this may seem really basic, and it is for most people, but that's okay. It's still a really good part. And the best part is, if you're just a beginner learning to play, it's a great way for you to become part of the band and still be able to contribute something. Most people wait way too long to start playing with others. If you start thinking this way of layering parts and layering rhythms, you can start playing with other people right away and it's gonna sound great. So let's go ahead and play this example with this complementary rhythm. Let's stick with looking at that time signature to come up with our second rhythm. And for this one, since we're in 4-4, four, four, we're just going to go ahead and play four quarter notes. Okay, this is another really good way for beginners to start playing along with others. And sometimes it is the perfect thing that complements everything else that's going on in the song. So let's go ahead and hear how this example sounds with playing quarter notes along with that backing track. To get this rhythm, we're gonna go ahead and look at what another instrument in this track is doing. Now, in this case, we're gonna look what the bass player is playing, and the bass player is playing constant eighth notes throughout the entire track. So we're just gonna go ahead and take that rhythm and write a part around that. So I'm gonna use two approaches here. The first time through, I'm gonna go ahead and use power chords with an eighth note feel, and the second time through, I'm gonna go ahead and use thirds and they're both great examples of things you can do with just a steady eighth note rhythm like this. And just one more idea for you that's not played, but for beginners, another thing you can do is if playing either of those shapes is difficult for you, you can absolutely just go ahead and play a single note along with the bass player, and you're playing it up the octave, so it is another part, and it's a complementary rhythm, and it's gonna make this track sound better. So let's go ahead and see how these parts sound with this track. We 
before we look at the next rhythm, if you like this video, hit that like button and remember to subscribe and click on that notification. Otherwise, YouTube will not let you know when I put out a new video. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, write them in the comments. I enjoy reading what you have to say and we'll make videos based on your suggestions. Okay, this next part is not necessarily a complimentary rhythm, but it is a complimentary part. And we get it from looking at the original rhythm and just writing something else from that rhythm. So instead of strumming it, we're gonna go ahead and arpeggiate notes around these chords, and it's just gonna add some more interest to this track. So let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like now. this idea, we're going to go ahead and look at what the bass drum's playing. So we're going to go ahead and take that rhythm and write a part around that. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use some triads, and I'm just going to hit it the exact same time that the bass drum's playing. I'm going to let these notes ring. You could make them staccato or let them ring. That's up to you as far as what you're doing with your part if you take this type of idea. But let's go ahead and see how this works with that original track. Up to this point, we've only come up with one idea for each rhythm. It's always a good idea to come up with multiple ideas for each rhythm. So for this one, let's go ahead and come up with a part that's played on two strings. So it's just gonna be partial chords, and we're gonna play those on the G and B string, up high in the neck around that 12th fret area. So let's go ahead and see how this enhances the sound of that original track. These ideas give you a glimpse into the many ways you can come up with complementary rhythms. If you're eager to explore more creative ways to work and write from rhythm, I highly recommend the guide to making any rhythm you know sound better. This simple step-by-step -step guide will not only help you maximize the potential of any rhythm you play, but it'll also help unleash your creativity. Click the link below this video and get your copy today.